Hey everybody, this is Will. I'm back. I'm doing um, some sway bars. Sway bar links on a uh, 2009 Ford Focus. Um, this is just a quick video. As y'all can see, this one is. I can move it with my thumb and my finger. The new one, no move at all. No movement at all. Customer was complaining of uh, noise when they hit a bump. And uh, what you need is, I'm using, of course, my little trusty 3 8 impact, but you need a socket, 3 8 or a ratchet, a wrench, 15 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter with an extension, a long 15 millimeter to tighten it down. I also chose to use a uh, universal socket, and the T size that you need is a T5 to uh, go in there. As you can see, I went with original grade products. Um, very good. I recommend them. As you can see, I've already done the passenger side. I'm gonna go on the driver's side. This one is just as bad. If you go ahead and wiggle it, you can see it moves real free, just like the one that we have off. So, time to change it out. I was also looking at the tie rod end, but the tie rod end is not that bad. This side's a lot better than the other side. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be back with the installation. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this bolt, turn it with my uh, with my T or with my 15, my long 15, just to get it started. And I'll throw the T5 in there and use a wrench to get it off, a wrench or my impact, and then the same thing down there. All right, actually, give me a second. I'm gonna try to pause and see if I can get to it right now. Okay, I'm back. Got the impact on there, a little 3 8 impact. I'm going ahead and loosen it just to get it turning. Just like that. That was pretty easy. I'll take that off. And we're going to and grab that. I don't know why I didn't put it together beforehand. And then we're going to grab our wrench. Put a wrench on there like that. See, it's turning. And we're going to go ahead and throw this in there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the impact. Make it a little bit easier for myself. Hold on one second. Quick pause. Okay, back again. The beauty of having air tools, if I can. Oh. Gotta hold it with both. I had to go sideways and sit on that rotor. Let's see, I don't know if I'm gonna get a good shot, but. Let's go ahead and pause. Okay, so we got the top one out. Now we're trying to break the bottom one free. Hopefully. Might have to jack it up. Okay, can't get it. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's see if we can get a wrench. Get a wrench on there. on there. Let me go grab my hammer. Okay, I'm back. This is why I included that universal joint. See that? I hooked up with the air tools. See if it come off. Yeah, that thing's on there solid, huh? Let's hit it in reverse. Let's see. You gotta get it broken loose and then we're almost done. Socket on there now. Small one. Oh, dropped it. Gotta be more careful. Let me 
Okay, we got it turning. Good thing. Okay, we got it broken free. Now, what do we need? We need our wrench, our 15. We need our 5. Like T5. We're going to put our wrench on there. Like that. We're going to throw our T5 in there. Hopefully it gets stuck like that. And we're just going to go ahead and rent that bad boy out. We're not as lucky to do it. Uh, I don't know, actually. Let's use our, yeah, there we go. Crank it on out. Let's hold it. There we go. Crank it on out. Coming on out. And everybody know install is basically the same thing. You know. Should just about be it. Little in the part. Oh, got the screw off. Got the uh, new one out. Or the old one out, sorry. <sighs> Once again, always compare your parts. That's the brand new one. Said this one was just as bad. Move it with my thumb. Move it with my thumb. And then that's the new one. No movement. And no movement. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to set it all up and then we'll go ahead and put it together. Okay, I'm back. I'm setting up for installation. And I'm going to go ahead and jack this up. Jack up on the lower control arm here. So get that, get this lined up. See, get that lined up that hole. So just give me a second. You only need a little bit, not much. About like that. Let's see. Is that it? I think we need just a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit. Up a little too much, a little bit too much. So we'll just trick here to so just release it just a little bit until it lines up. Let it move just a little bit like that. Just let it line up and then stop. Push it through. Put your boat on. I know. Put your boat on. Back again. We're gonna tighten it down since it's a brand new one and these are locking nuts. All I gotta do is just tighten it down. I make sure I'm tightening it. Huh? There we go. Alright. Tighten it down. That's one. Very tight, brand new, perfect. And now, I'm gonna go at this one with a uh, ratchet. Ratchet and socket, my 15. And I lose tools, gotta hate it. Where are you? My pocket. <laughs> Where did it go? I mean, it was just here. <laughs> well. Looks like I lost my Craftsman. Okay, so give me a pause. Okay, so we're done with the top, and now we're just tightening down that bottom. I had to go get a backup ratchet. Backup Craftsman, I have no idea what just happened to that ratchet. <laughs> it happens if you work on stuff, you know what I mean. Be right up under you. But we're gonna tighten this all the way down, and we're basically done. I do still have it slightly jacked up I normally put a load on it when I'm tightening it down just to make sure everything is good and loaded weight wise I'm gonna tighten it so we can't tighten it no more there we go and we are all done two brand new sway bar links oh uh, I made one mistake. I gotta put that back on. <laughs> Let's hope this comes off real easy. Hold on. 
Well, this is the first, so always make sure you put everything back. So, uh, I've never taken them out after I put one on. Not bad. Yep, caught my nut. Caught the nut and, uh, didn't lose it. So let's just throw that bracket on there. Like that. Let's pop the top. Straight rolling back through all the way. Like that. Now. Now we put this on and tighten it down as tight as it goes. And then we're done. Sorry about that, everybody. Sometimes it happens like that. The question is, where did my socket go? Oh, found my wrench. Found my ratchet. Found the ratchet. And found the socket. Told you. Everything just happens like that when you work on stuff. So let's go ahead and tighten this down and we're officially done. <coughs> There you go. We are done on this 2009 Ford Focus. Redoing the sway bar links, both of them. Everything else looks good. Here's the old ones, just so you know they're bad. You can see, bop, 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 move too easy. Bop, 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 move too easy. Here's the other one. Bop, 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 move too easy. And bop, 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 move too easy. New ones didn't move at all. Very brand new and good. And um